Hi, my name is Dr. Carl Bamlin, and you're about to discover exactly what Leanne, Gina, Summer, myself, and others have done to beat cancer, obesity, diabetes, painful joint inflammation, metabolic syndrome, fibromyalgia, IBS, Crohn's, and autoimmune diseases. All while we lost weight, regained good health, and greatly reduced our over-dependence on expensive prescription drugs. And after we beat these chronic diseases, you'll hear what we used to maintain our good health for many years longer with no disfigurement from painful surgeries, no expensive medical prescriptions, and had absolutely no side effects. Now, let's take a moment and listen to their true stories. Meet Leanne Cooper. She was happy and full of life. Leanne thought she was healthy. Then, with absolutely no warning, the worst thing happened. Leanne was recently diagnosed with cancer. She is a victim of a deadly crisis sweeping America and the rest of the world. Her life was instantly thrown into a tailspin with a sudden and unexpected cancer diagnosis. Let's hear what she had to say. My name's Leanne and I've been diagnosed with cancer, um, CLL, which is chronic lymphocytic leukemia, um, which essentially is cancer of the immune system and the lymphocytes. Cancer is affecting my everyday life in um, quite a, a way that it's almost turned it upside down. I definitely did not see this coming. Um, I felt I was in good health. I have lived a life of health and fitness for the last 25 years. Um, and yes, it was a complete shock to me and my family and surroundings. When I got diagnosed, the doctor, the first thing he said to me, he wanted to put me on to chemo. Um, and I said no. And he did respect me in regards to that, which was great. A lot of physicians wouldn't, I understand. Now, I'm not telling anyone out there, do not get chemo. But the more natural, more clean your diet is, the better your body is able to heal and do your research. Cancer is one of the most destructive illnesses in the world. And I'm not here to tell you to stop taking any medication or chemotherapy. However, I am here to tell you about what doctors don't promote strongly enough, about fighting cancer and fostering long-term good health. Not knowing this can hurt you. It could even cost you your life or the life of a loved one. That's why it's so extremely important you watch to the end of this video and then you'll know what Leanne did to improve her chances of beating cancer. So you can do what she did to significantly increase your chances of returning to good health and a normal life after a sudden cancer diagnosis. And then there's the weight loss story of 28-year-old Gina Broom. Gina was worried her constant symptoms of chronic fatigue, insomnia, and 65 pounds of excess weight gain were early symptoms of increasing insulin resistance and she was afraid she would become pre-diabetic. Let's listen to Gina's incredible weight loss story and what she did to lose the weight and return to good health. Hi, my name is Gina and over the past six or seven months or so, I've lost about 65 pounds. I kind of had this rule with myself, like, get through the first two weeks. I just thought, I can do two weeks. And that kind of helped me, like, keeping my goals quite short term, helped me to, um, yeah, just sort of stick it out. Having lost weight, I have heaps more energy, heaps more confidence. People are a bit nicer to me. And, um, yeah, I really, like, I really like being smaller. I'll show you exactly what Gina did to lose all 65 pounds and do it without feeling hungry and without excessive exercise. She got rid of her chronic fatigue and I'm sure you'll agree, she looks great. Gina not only lost 65 pounds, she took her health in her own hands and she avoided a diagnosis of pre-diabetes. According to the American Diabetes Association, approximately 29 million Americans have diabetes about 9.3% of the population. The Centers for Disease Control estimate that there are another 8 million Americans undiagnosed. I have startling new scientific research to show you, indicating the wrong kind of unhealthy bacteria in the gut can cause high levels of gut inflammation, which may cause you to be more susceptible to obesity and specifically type 2 diabetes. Just like Gina did, you need to know if you are at a risk for diabetes. And if you are, 
it is important to understand the steps you need to take to prevent yourself from becoming another diabetes statistic. And then there's a the story of Jennifer's dad, a kind elderly man who suffered with type 2 diabetes and had to take expensive daily insulin shots. I'd like you to meet his daughter, Dr. Jennifer Lamoureux, a registered pharmacist. Listen as she tells the story how he lost a significant amount of weight and eliminated his dependence on expensive diabetes medications. As a pharmacist, I've watched a lot of people come into the pharmacy and they've been dispensed many drugs for diabetes and I just really wanted to help them with their lifestyle changes because medicine really doesn't address lifestyle changes and I especially saw that um, with my father as he got older he gained a lot of weight he was eating the wrong kinds of foods and it was really affecting him he got diagnosed with pre-diabetes first and then later um, after a couple of years he was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes and then a couple of years after that he started taking insulin for diabetes and it just got progressively worse. 